another unscripted video coming right around the corner okay so today is mental health day uh, or mental health awareness day what are you going to call it um, it is considered to be to spread awareness about the mental issues people uh, go through and uh, illnesses and everything uh, and let's talk about that for a bit uh as i said it's not a scripted video so i'm just gonna uh, ramble uh, words that come into my mind so i'm sorry if i'm uh, all around the place i just don't know where to start because this topic is a bit a bit close to my heart let's start with yeah uh, myself i am uh, i am 20 years old now and i have been uh, suffering from depression for almost 8 years i would say and before that also i was uh, a bit i don't know adhd kind of person and uh, i i had a rough childhood i i am not gonna lie but at the same time i had uh, like the most amazing parents like ever they are always so supportive about everything to me and uh, yeah they made some mistakes in my life uh, raising me like just a few of them but who doesn't make mistakes after all not everyone's perfect uh, and they are not perfect and i don't mind that about them i really love them and i I'm, i appreciate them in my life like truly from the bottom of my heart now with the whole covid thing going around everyone is kind of stressed out and tired on the frustration and uh, like uh, they are you know anx anxious about their jobs and their exams and all that stuff and I just want you to know that it's okay. You, it's okay. Think of this as a breather, as a moment for you to just sit and breathe and just calm down. Take a break from your life and just, you know, appreciate everything you have right now. I don't want to be the one who will go all preach me or preach me. I don't want to be that person. I know life can be tough and it it can be a really big burden on your own life. I know that. But I want you to know that this is not the end. And this shouldn't be end. Life is a lot more than you can just say it is. It It's... You can... You can live your life to the fullest. You can do what not. For that, you have to work hard. And it's like... Yeah, it's unfair sometimes with the whole, uh, many people hating the capitalism and you just, you have to find a way to be happy after all. People always say that we should check upon our friends and that's a really common thing to say, especially today, that we should check upon our friends and how they are and everything. But know when you need to stop. Now this might come of a surprise, but if the other person doesn't want your help, you can't force your help to, you, you can't force what you feel about them. You can't force that they need to get better on to them if they are not ready for it. They need to be ready for it from their own. You can maybe let them know that, you can maybe help them go through with it, but like that's the most you can do. You can be a supportive about it, you can be helpful, you can be the ear to listen to, shoulder to cry on, but you can't take their decisions, their decisions have to be their own and you can't force that on them. Uh, it's, it's their life, they have the right to take their decisions the way they want it. What I do when I've been very depressed, I eat. That's my, <laughs> I know that's a bit weird, but I eat, I just eat. When I feel sad, when I feel down, I just go and start eating stuff and I get full and I just feel so full of food in my stomach. I just stop feeling sad. I know that, that like, I know that's not, no, I know that's not a really healthy way to do, <laughs> to cope up from your depression, but I, it works. <laughs> I'm not condoning it. I'm just saying that it, it fucking works. I, 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 that's what I'm saying. Uh, so yeah, uh, it works. Uh, I need to get better really. 
and not let myself eat to death like that uh, but yeah when i feel the sudden urge to hurt myself or anything um, there are many things i've heard works for different people and one of them is ice my friend recommended it to me that take an ice cube in your hand and put it on your palm and just squeeze real hard and just breathe that's all you do and the brain kind of thinks that you are harming yourself the way you want to uh, and uh, yeah it works it, I, I know i'm not saying that it works completely 100 percent but it worked for me a few times and I hope it really works with, for you as well. Then uh, again, the same friend, uh, I'll just say uh, his name is Kunal and uh, they, they have a page on Instagram. I will link, link it down below. Uh, Co7 thoughts. When, we are, when, we are, when I'm thinking th too many thoughts or there, are, or there are like many thoughts going through my brain and I can't sleep because of it or anything. Uh, Kunal again, he uh, suggested me to just take them, put it in your ha hands and just make them sit in, on a chair next to you and just say that I'll handle you later and just distract yourself until it's gone. And again, it's not a 100% technique to get better from overthinking or anything. It's just a temporary thing you can distract yourself with and uh, after you have done that, you should definitely check with your doctor because no matter what your problems are, whether it's just stress, simple, or it's a frustration of your family's work, if it's a frustration of the pandemic going around or anything, if it's something serious or more severe or anything at all, if you are schizophrenic or paranoid schizophrenic or, or if you have dementia or um, Parkinson's or bipolar or BPD or DID or anything you have. First thing is first you have to go and check with your doctor no matter what because that's the like the main thing you should do right away. If you have these severe illnesses or anything, I am not the best person to talk to or like went to or even your friends because your friends again as I said before. They can be a ear to listen to or a shoulder to cry to, but they are not going to help you that well, as well as the doctor can help you. So you should go see a doctor and uh, go from there. I don't know what this video is exactly. I just thought I should make something uh, on the occasion of it being mental health day. Uh, so yeah. Also, I'll give one last thing. I'll give uh, my own experience with um, ECT. Uh, if you don't know what it is, it's an electroconvulsive therapy, uh, basically shock treatment. And I have talked about it in vaguely in, in a movie review called From the, the a Beautiful Mind. I talked about it that I had uh, like experience with that. So basically. Uh, what that did to me at least was that it restarted my brain so that the serotonin and the dopamine of my brain the neural and I don't know this is big science words so it just restarted my brain and everything was working well but again I, I started going bad again and I started the symptoms coming back and the depression again and like the memory issues and all so yeah i talked to my doctor about it uh, yesterday and he said that we will think about it we'll consider uh, that an option but right now i'm just on medications and hopefully after a while i will be off them and uh, it will be because of ect so we'll see how it goes so i'm sorry if i was just rambling and this video made no sense at all I did not, I did not, ex, ex, I, I did not prepare for this video at all and I am really sorry about that. But I just thought about making a video and here it is. Uh, know that you are loved no matter what. You may feel that you are not loved or no one hears about, no one cares about you or no one wants to be your friend or anything like that because that's bullshit. There are 
always people out there who love you no matter what and just keep that in mind please don't take any drastic steps or anything at all anything remotely close to that uh please don't uh, please don't uh, go through the wrong ways of getting better like do- doing drugs and all because that's not helpful no matter what people say that cannabis cannabis is good for you it's not acid is good for you it's not it's really not uh, because doctors know more than you do uh, okay so please don't maybe there are studies going through uh, trials going on but that those are just trials they don't have the full information and yeah overall just stay strong and take care and know that you are loved even if you think you are not you are um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye